Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Newly released body camera video shows what led up to an officer involved shooting in Idaho after the suspect stabbed his father, attempted to rob a bank, and ran toward police with a knife in hand. Let me see your heads, dude. Oh! 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 Yes, get down here. No! Get down. It all started in Boise, Idaho on November 18th, 2022, when suspect Jeremy Waste stabbed his father. His father was taken to the hospital, treated, and later released, but Waste went on the run. Days later, on November 21st, he attempted to break into a locked bank. And tell me exactly what's happened. Um, well, we're not quite open yet. We open at 9, and all of a sudden, I felt somebody, like, or heard somebody at the front door, you know, like, pulling on the doors like crazy. And he had a black mask on, and then when he realized the door wasn't open, he beelined it over to a car, which I a van. Investigators say Waste drove off from the bank in a gray Honda Odyssey. Later that day, Ada County Dispatch received an emergency call reporting Waste was trying to break into someone's home. The caller said the suspect was driving that same minivan. And when the address of your emergency? Yes, this is my Jeremy Waste, who is wanted for stabbing his out in front of my house trying to get in. He just hopped back in his van uh, and is leaving. And he's wanted for stabbing who? Stabbing his Please send someone out here. There should be people already out here looking for him in the area. So he went down to the end of the court. So what kind of vehicle did he get uh, back into? It's a, a, a gray Honda Odyssey minivan. And I can't tell the plates he has, but he's coming in. He's coming back in. Coming back in uh, where? Pulling back up. Pardon me? Please okay. send someone out. Yeah, I heard. Right. He's right, ma'am. Just so you know, I already have a call in for my officer. So if you could just let me know, like, if he stays in his car or if he gets back out of the car. He's back. To, he's ringing the doorbell again at my house. He's trying to get in, actually. At about 2.17 that afternoon, investigators attempted to ping Waste's cell phone to find his location, but it didn't work. Hours later, at 4.45, he was seen at a park riding a BMX bike. By about 5.30, officers caught up with Waste on the bike path. Body camera video shows these moments. He might have just ducked down. Um, if somebody gets with me, we can walk and see if we can find him. So there is the, uh, the clubhouse is gray, and then to the east, there's an orange building. That's where he went between. Video shows an officer running toward Waste, calling out his location via radio. Somebody get to Grand Force. He's on the bike going eastbound. The officer calls for Waste to show his hands, but he refuses. Stop, police! Let me see your hands! After that, Waste rushes toward the officer armed with a knife. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! The officer continues calling for Waste to show his hands, but he still doesn't stop. It's then that a second officer opens fire, hitting Waste. Let me see your heads, dude. Oh! 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 Yes, get down here. Oh! No! Get down. After that, officers put out a shots fired call. Shots fired. We're on the bike path. Thank you. Let me see your hands. Throw Drop the knife. knife. Throw it. Drop the knife. Waste was later taken to the hospital and treated for his injuries. After that, he was booked into the Ada County Jail. While the incident happened late last year, the Boise Police Department just released body camera video and audio recordings this month after the Ada County Critical Incident Task Force completed its investigation. 
The Twin Falls prosecuting attorney reviewed that investigation and determined the officers acted appropriately. Last month, Wace was sentenced to up to 30 years in prison for stabbing his father and rushing toward police with that knife. He'll be eligible for parole in 10 years. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.